Welcome to the Shaycast. My name is Lewis Tomlinson. Uh, I'm on camera for the first time. I'm normally on commentary box. So I've got <laughs> joined by Tom Stacey as well tonight. Good evening. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, mate. How are you? Yeah, very good, thank you. Uh, excited for tonight. We've got uh, the gaffer and uh, Nathan Clark in, haven't we? Yeah, it should be good. It's been a good month at club, hasn't it, really? Uh, unbeaten yes. in 2020. Touch wood. Yes, but I've, I've got no uh, wood, but... <laughs> just staying that way for as long as possible. Yeah, it's been a very, very good start to the year, hasn't it? Um, didn't end on the best terms, obviously, with Boxing Day. Um, but look at where it's propelled us to third in the league. Doing fantastic, aren't we? Yeah, it's been a, it's, it's been a great month for Hale Solomon in the trophy on Saturday as well, which is something to look forward to. Another cup run, hopefully. Yeah. Well, Wembley again. That's yes. Touch wood again. We're, uh, we're not far, are we? Um, We've got obviously the Hills on this weekend and then it's straight into the quarterfinals, isn't it? So, very, very much looking forward to it and bringing quite a few up, I've heard. Yeah, they, yeah, they are four cultures, it seems it's, like. So, it should be, a, should be a good do on Saturday. Uh, we'll be talking about all of that and everything else really regarding the club since we've last been on uh, with Clarky yeah. and the Gaffer when they get here. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a nice little break. Things have been a bit hectic, obviously, with. With the Christmas period, um, and obviously I, I put the stuff out, um, so the, I've moved house recently, uh, so things have been down and been a bit slower. So it's it's nice to be back, and you know I've finally got my internet back, so hey. we'll be able to get things uploaded a lot quicker and things done a lot faster and get things back to normal. So I'm I'm, I'm happy and excited for that. Um, but I guess before we start the show, it's just a few things that I'd like to go through with yourself, if you don't oh, mind. Man. Yeah, if, if that, is that all right? Yeah, go on. <laughs> so obviously, when we have a new presenter on or uh, a new lad from the media team, we'll, we'll ask you know for a bit of introduction uh, on yourself. So how 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 did working for Halifax come about for you? Uh, through BT last season, I'm, I'm a town fan. I've, I've seen a ticket holder out Shay for God knows how many years before before I started doing this. You know, self stand. I'm sure them. You know, there's a fair few people will be watching this who probably know me from from being in self stand <laughs> and from being in courtyard and on the way coaches before games and that. Yeah. You know, uh, and I'm I'm doing a degree here at Huddersfield Uni, and I got an email asking if uh, last season they wanted someone to do all BT stuff. Wow. Down Shay. Yeah. I thought. Saves you buying a season ticket, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, yeah. <laughs> so, so I, I got I got I got into it through that. Really loved it. Everyone, everyone around the club is so sound. Uh, all the players, yeah. all the staff, especially this season, more yeah. so this season, are uh, <laughs> a, a friendly, a, a friendly, yeah. nice, really nice people. And it's just it's, it's like a family now, isn't it? And I yeah, absolutely, yeah. You, know, you, you look, as a fan, you live for the club. But when you're doing this, you you properly, properly live for the club. I won't I won't, won't be what else I'd rather be doing. Yeah, it, I, I guess you could say it's it's like a dream. You're working for your favourite club. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh, it's class. It's, <laughs> it's, it's class, you know. And, and <clears throat> yeah, it's it, 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 it's 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 good. It's good fun, and the, 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 there's the, the, the people around you make it. You know what I mean? Yeah. If if, if, if even if it, even if I work in Halifax Town, but it was a bit. It was a toxic environment. It, it, it's not the it's, it's not the same, you know what I mean. It but was tough, yeah. It's because it's, it's everyone everyone here is just so so driven, so kind. Every, everyone really has the best interest of, of the club at heart. Yeah, Ev, you know. I look, as you know, I'm, I'm a town fan. I know what we can be like sometimes. Yeah, as as a general bunch, but <laughs> once 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 you spend like day in day out with with everyone, yeah, you know full well that. Nah, this we, we 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 have we have we have a good people involved. We have people who are taking the club in the right direction. Yeah, well, like you mentioned, you started off behind the video camera. Yeah. Now, when <laughs> first game of the season, you, I, and uh, OT, we uh, we travelled down to Ed's Fleet. The much missed OT. The mu yeah, the much missed OT. I I, uh, I hope we do a good job in his in his absence um, because it's it's something very new for. For, for both, both of us, yeah, yeah. We, we didn't know those have been on camera really, but we've all, we've all been on the other side of it, aren't we? Yeah, I, I must admit, I, I feel like I have a face for radio. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't be asked, don't no. be asked, <laughs> No, I, um, 
it's 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 been tough. It's been a challenge, but I'm 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 relishing it. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Um, and obviously, you um, like you say you you started behind the camera, but you've you've taken on a new role, uh, which you kind of made your own down at Ebb's Fleet. All right. Um, Mega Brook, like <laughs> you're absolutely loved on the commentary. How how are you finding it? Are you enjoying that side of the job? Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm, I say I'm, I'm a fan that's just talking to a microphone, you know, yeah. and, and I'm not, you know, I, I guess I guess we, what we happens with a lot of the media team being students, and they're all top lads this year. They all really are really, really hard working, proper yeah. set of grafters, and, and they're enjoying the time with the club. But I've been here before, and I'll be here after. You know yeah. what I mean? I, it, it, I'm, I'm not going to move back down south at the end of this year. You know, it's, yeah. you know, and it's it comes to that, and I guess I know I know players in this league. Yeah, you know, I, there's people who, you know, who, who've been played, who've been knocking around this league for a long time. Who I guess I'm more familiar with, yeah, than the, the, the other people might be. And I say I, I've really enjoyed having players on with me. The, yeah, the, the, they've all been absolutely brilliant. Uh, and again, it's it's. The, the, the help in terms of how they see the game it's, it's yeah. interesting it's interesting to learn that and I, I enjoy I enjoy chatting with them I enjoy watching the games with them uh, yeah. and again I'm just glad that, that, that I've been commentating on more positive results than, than poor ones this season yeah it, uh, it has been a good season obviously we, we've had that little dip but we won't, <laughs> we won't go into that too much um, but yeah, it's 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 an amazing thing. Like I, I, I started obviously with with Brickhouse Town, and you know I, I'm now here, and I am I'm fully invested because you know Halifax is my hometown. I, I've always wanted Halifax Town to do well. So like you say, working in an environment where there's such passion from even us on the media team yeah. for the team to do well. It, you know, you like to think it also helps and creates a positive aura and energy around the players when we're speaking to them. Yeah, because of course it is. We, we, we are fans, aren't we? We are supporters. We, we do want the team to do well, not for ourselves, but for the name, for the town. Yeah, exactly. It's, it is so, such a good feeling, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's, it's been class. I, I, I think what you've done this season has been brilliant. Thank you. As well. Uh, in terms of, in terms of the camera angle, shaming TV highlights are absolutely quality. You know the advent calendar, the content we put for that, the carpool, yeah. the carpool karaoke. <laughs> I, 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 want, I want in that, but I went filming with it, with it and that, yeah. that was such a fun day. And again, it's because it's, it's we've got the, the lads on the pitch are invested in the club off the pitch as well. Yes. You know, so much the, 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 they're willing to, you know, have a bit of a laugh and do things like that. Yeah. And. You know, the, the gaffer has been absolutely brilliant this season as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it, it just it just creates such a nice environment off the pitch, and when things are going well on the pitch as well, you're buzzing twenty four seven. Yeah, you, you honestly are, and it's uh, there's there's no feeling like it. You know, you come up, you come away from Che, you say I, I I know it more than all on a on a Saturday with a win. Yeah, the, the buzz from that, and it carries you through the week to the next Saturday. I'm, I'm like, Good. I'm good. We don't have a Tuesday game next week or this week. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. That's and and, and that's how it is. I'm I'm just counting yeah. down days to next game. Yeah. And I, look, it's 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 insane that we 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 are where we are. Given give, given where, given how the season looked like it might have started at the start, you know, b b b before the first few friendlies. Yeah, but it's testament to how we've managed to overcome that with how much graft's been put in by everyone on all sides of the club. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll we'll speak with Nathan about it. Um, obviously, when he gets here, but it's hard to believe that you know those those couple of friendlies we had. You know, he, he was there. He was he was taking the team. Yeah. He was leading them, and it's just. Well, well, now he, he's captain in obviously Matty Brown's absence. But like, what a, what a season! Like, what a season it's been. You know, 
I don't. I think if the season ended tomorrow, we would all happily say it has been a great season. A box to go up. I hope. I don't like, we do. I don't. I don't think anyone beats us the way we're playing at the minute. I'm going to be touching, touching every bit of what I can find. <laughs> but you know, it's, it, the, 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 this this month I think in you know I've been, I, I came home from hospital in Halifax Town bib when I was born. That's yeah. not even a joke. That that's that's genuine fact. I've still got the bib. Uh, Amazing. You'll have to bring that in next yeah, time you're on. Yeah, I will do. I will do. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I think this has been the best month of football I've ever seen Town play. In my twenty years, yeah, I've, I've, it's just been, you know, five goals against Maidenhead, four goals against Dover. Yeah, you know? Dover were no pushovers, were they? No, they were a good, good side. Team. They're a good side. They didn't barrel last night. Exactly. I was just, yeah, I was just gonna say, they've done us a huge, huge favour in yeah. Barrow over last night. And you know, I, when I was listening to it, um, and Barrow got the penalty, I thought, here we go. They're gonna do what they did this yeah. weekend. One down, two one up, win the game. But it wasn't to be. I like. I, I found myself actually just sat on my sofa cheering that the fact that Dover had scored. And that, like it's hard because obviously when I'm behind the camera, I have to keep quiet. Yeah. I, can't, I can't join in these, you know, the, the songs, the singing, the chanting uh, that I want to do. Yeah, you're in it. Um, it. It's so hard to to bite my tongue behind that camera. But you know, I, I, I was I was cheering Dover on like there was no tomorrow last night. Um, and yeah, it's 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 going to be interesting because obviously they've got Dover still to play again uh, with Dover going up there. They still got us to play. That good good Friday, isn't it? Yeah, this make it very good. Cool. There's going to be some. It's it's going to be great. This this end to the season is going to be exciting to say the least, isn't it? Yeah, and, and I, I I guess with last night's result, it you know it, it rather than it being eleven points clear, which meant ahead of us. Is it are they are the eleven points clear or so they're eight are they eight ahead of Harrogate or eight ahead of us? Us, I think. Either, either way, <coughs> it's it's eight or nine, isn't it? Yeah, uh, it's, well, well, it's I think a it's eight and eleven, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and <coughs> I guess you could kind of say with the league, the league were there to lose before yeah. last night. Now it's a title race. On. There is, and, and, it's, and it's God, I don't like talking about it. <coughs> <laughs> It makes me nervous, but it'll be a, it'll be a, it's going to be a good end to the season. And I said the, the way we're playing, you're looking forward to every game. And you're going into every game thinking we're going to win it. Yeah, well, I am anyway. Yeah, I mean it's it's been so good, and I know uh, the it's a general feeling uh, from everyone. How good has it been to see Rod Shaw and Redney? Rod Shaw and Redney. <laughs> 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 Red Shaw and Rodney, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Jack, you know, we seen what he can do when he came in in November. In, you know, he had, he had a couple of cameos when he was still working up to full fitness. Yeah. And we got him back full, you know, fully fit. And he's been absolutely exceptional. Absolutely exceptional. And everyone, you know, I, I, I guess with me as a town fan as well, it, it, it comes as... But we're kind of more used to never having heard of the players we sign, you know. Right. I like Cam King and Niall Mar have been brilliant for us. Yeah. I didn't have a Scooby with either of them were when they first joined. Right. You know, okay. You know what I mean. Yeah. And so I, I guess the pressure was kind of already on Devante when he came back. Yeah. Because to us it was you know, it it, it was almost like you know signing a, the biggest name we could have signed. Yeah. You know, with, with how good he was for us back in the last season, and he's backed it up, and he's backed it up, and he, he, you know he's arguably been even better. What four in four he's got? We're not obviously that one no goal against Maidenhead. <laughs> I'm, not having, not having the league, giving, not giving that to Devante. I know uh, it's it's tough for him, isn't it? Because obviously, well, it um, unfortunately has gone down as a, an own goal. But like you say, he's he's just been different class hasn't he you know it's like he's never been away it's like he no, hasn't exactly. spent the start of this season elsewhere and I, I think it's testament to the club as well that that you uh, if you read uh, Tom Scargill's interview with him in the Curry when he first came in Devante was saying he wanted to come here he wanted to come here yeah. before he joined Stockport but you know the, the, there's there's situations away from football that, that meant that that couldn't happen right, right at yeah. that time <clears throat> but you know 
to, to have loan players think so highly of the club that, that their first thought is, right, get me back to Halifax. Yeah. You know, I, I, I think it's great, and I think that the mutual love from Devante and the fans, you know, it's, it's there both ways. And, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad he's back. Honestly, I'm so glad he's back. Yeah, I mean, I think, like you just said then, um, the mutual feeling between Devante and the fans and, like, you could see that this Saturday uh, no, I... when he ran over, uh, like his celebration, he was hugging like the crowd. Yeah. You know, like you can see how much the love for him pushes him forward. Yeah, big time. And like when when he first came back, and you know, like we obviously we had to do the media side. We took the headshots and and got the gifts and things. And I, I, I just I just said to him, "Are you happy to be back?" And the smile on his face. Yeah said it all he didn't even have to say anything so to know that you've got a player that is so happy to be here like it just lifts everything doesn't it a big time and they say some 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 players just find somewhere where it just clicks them yeah and i think devan has found that this year and i say i love him to bits absolutely brilliant football <coughs> and but all every single every single lad in the side this month has been Absolutely exceptional. I have offered Danny Williams for my player of the month for January. He's been was, incredible, was, hasn't he? He's filled in absolutely brilliantly at, at, at wing back. Yeah. Uh, you know, not not a new role for him in, early in his career, but a new role for him at the club. Yeah. Being outstanding, but you know, Devante Jack getting Cam able fit him to play a, a full run of games. Yeah. Starting, I think Charlie's been brilliant this month. Yes, he has. Covered, you know, it's absolutely everywhere against Maynard. Everywhere against Charlie covers yeah. every blade of ground, you know, every blade of grass he, you know, he finds. And then, you know, Jeff on the other side to Danny has been brilliant and yeah. lucky when he's coming when, you know, for the two games when Jeff stopped being able to play. Yeah. And then obviously Clark is steadying the ship at the back. Yeah. Whilst Brownie's been out and, you know, Niall, Niall, he's Niall, Niall, I've, you know, I've, I've been him since, since he first came to the club. He's, there's been a very, very rare occasion when Niall's had a bad game such a such a solid player and J Jerome as well has done well in the last two games as well we're just yeah just boys just flying out there yeah I mean I've I've loved seeing Jeff in the team um I feel that you know with him and and Charlie kind of alongside each other because obviously um Jeff's out wider but that bite oh, that I... comes with them too it's it, it's great to see, isn't it? It's like they've just got that that extra little bit of aggression that that makes us a scary team. Yeah, you know, obviously with without bringing into like the the force that the strikers bring um, and the people around them, but just that extra grit, that extra bite that I, you could you can see clearly. Um, it's been great to see Jeff have these run of games, and and like you say, Danny. Uh, Danny out wide because he's um, a bit of an unsung hero, isn't he? Oh, I think I think he's been quality. I think he's been absolutely quality and a little bit underappreciated at times. Just how good he's been recently. Yeah. But even even when the lads have been coming off off the bench, like we've got Jamie against Dover. How good <coughs> Jamie! Wow. You know. Yeah. You know Jack wasn't having a bad game, but Jamie come on and he's just taking it up another gear. Yeah. And it were exceptional. And I thought on Saturday in a position that don't often quite get the credit. I thought Liam Nolan were brilliant. When he came on against Bromley as well, yes. When, when we when we were under a bit of pressure, won everything in the middle for us, yeah. you know. And that's and that's, I guess the way, the way things are going at the minute is that when we make a substitution, when we make a change, it's not a weak, it's not weakening, it's not weakening the eleven that are out there on the pitch. No, it's not. You know, and you know, I'll, I say, town town fans will know that, you know, un, in, in other squads we've had almost a clear first eleven, and then you know clear backup options who were evidently maybe not quite at the level of the people starting ahead of them. Yeah. I don't think we have that this year really. No, it's it's a it's a squad. Yeah, exactly. It is a, like it's like you say it's not a you know, your first team and you know, you you fill us in. Like no offence to, to anybody in the you know <laughs> but it, it is a squad and the fact that the first game of the season you've got Niall and Josh playing centre mid together. Yeah. You've now got obviously Josh still there, but he had a few games centre, centre back. Half, yeah. um, 
Niles now, you know, in in that, half, yeah. yeah, in that back three. Um, it's just, it's great. The um, what's the word? The adaptability. The um, like the fluid, fluid. Uh, yeah, just it's. it's <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> it's great to see, and like I'm, I'm very like you, very positive about you know this run into the season. Yeah, big time, mate. So. It's just. So I'm trying to not try not to get carried away because I, I don't like I don't like getting <laughs> makes me nervous. Yeah, it's um, well, obviously we've got quite a few games to come before then, but this Saturday season's return to FA Trophy action with uh, Hales Owen coming to down. Um, how are you feeling about that? Should be a good test. Yeah, you know, uh, ev- ev- everyone says that when 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 you play it when you play a team that. You reckon, and and you're going into a game as heavy favourites, mm-hmm. which which is what we will be doing. You know, we, we've been being free leagues before, but they are flying in that league. Yes, they are flying in that league. <coughs> but I guess, I, I guess even with that, we'd rather play them than a Notts County. You know, would yeah. you? Would you? Because I guess, I, I I guess the pressure's almost all of us. They're going to come out here with no fear. They've already, you know, the last round. They've, yeah. not, they've not made Ned out, only stuffed made Ned as well. Yes. They put a fair few past him, but it far. Um, I don't know what the first game was, but the the, the replay was 3-1. 3-1, so, yeah. yeah. You know, they're definitely no mugs. Definitely no, no mugs. And I, I know the gaffer and the team aren't, aren't taking it lightly from, no. from when we spoke to them about, uh, you know, about how they've been preparing for the game. and. Maybe, maybe if we're in the out on Monday, that could be when we start to start to dream start about to dream. Wembley again. Well, there's there's a couple of you know big ties this round as well. Yeah, isn't yeah there? there's, like, there's some teams, some good teams are going to get knocked out. Yeah, I mean the the the, the main one obviously I picked up on were the two relegated sides, Yeovil are hosting Notts County, aren't they? Yeah. So you know, like both big teams. Unfortunately, both done the double over us as well this season. Yeah, they have, but I, I, I guess they both kind of played us at times of the year. Well, I said I thought the overall were fantastic both times we played them this season. Yeah. They were really impressive. They were as good as any conference side mm-hmm. I've seen. Uh, you know, including the you know late last season, late in Orient, I thought they were brilliant. Tram me aside a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, I thought this year's the overall looked that good the two times we played in the season yeah. but when we went down there and we were speaking to their lads that they, they, they were saying that they're, they're just remarkably inconsistent yeah well they and said the two only, best games of the season have been both, against both us both been against us yeah so yeah and they only got a point against charlie that week at the, you know at the weekend didn't they and they, <laughs> yeah. they had to rescue that really late on yeah and i guess that's that's very that, that the league's kind of got that feel about it this year and it where yeah. a, a lot of teams are a similar enough level of all on the day being able to absolutely turn it on. Yeah. And it's just about making sure we're the ones to turn it on more than anyone else. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, like you say, this this weekend's not it's not gonna be a walk in the park. It's gonna be the complete opposite. Um but oh I think we just got a knock at the door here, so that means that the gaffer and Nathan are here. Aye. So we won't keep them uh, waiting. Um, we'll get them in shortly, so we'll be back for part two. Hello and welcome back to Shaycast. This week we're joined by the gaffer and Nathan Clark. Yeah, how are you doing guys? You alright? Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah, very well. Thank you. Good, good. Um, yeah, we're just going to have a bit of a brief chat, a bit of a catch up. We've obviously had you both in. Um, so it's, it's, it's nice to have you back. Yeah. Yeah, nice to be back. Thanks for asking us to come in, yeah, get us going again. Yeah. yeah, no problem. So first off, I think what we'll talk about is is the weekend coming up. We've got obviously the FA Trophy. Uh, how's everyone feeling? Yeah, good. Good. Yeah. Uh, we've done well in this season competition. It's obviously a competition we want to do well in. Um, we've got lads in the dressing room there. Three lads: Brownie, Sam, and Josh Mack, who have obviously won the competition before, uh, and they're quite. They're quite vocal in the fact of how good it is and, and how, <laughs> how nice it would be to, to do well in this competition. But yeah. we come up against a tough side who we don't know obviously don't know a lot about. Um but have had an excellent run in this year's competition. I think they've played eleven games, 
seven replays to get to this stage. And I've got some, some real good players, one of which that I've been made aware of about over three occasions, the centre forward Gibson. Wow. So looking forward to, to seeing what he's got. Yeah, it'll be a test for you then, that then, won't it? Yeah, looking forward to it. Like I say, any cup run uh, is a is a good run. So um, the form we're in at the moment, it's uh, it's a good time to, to come and play us. Yeah. Um, you know, because we're feeling confident, and hopefully we can uh, we can keep pushing on. Yeah, this this top of four to eight hundred, isn't there? Yeah, coming four, up from four coaches, I reckon they've already got filled apparently. Yeah, so that that'll be yeah, uh, a tidy atmosphere. It's, it's already like a well, not quite a Wembley trip, but it's I say it's their, their biggest day of the season so far, isn't it? I believe Already so. In that. Well, I guess with with you having made your name as well, like with a giant killing as well, yeah. is it a bit is it a bit different being on the other side of it and being the person trying to stomp on their dreams? Yeah, it's strange. <laughs> yeah, I was on the I was on the other side of it last year, so I know how they're feeling coming up here. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you've played in, in a lot of games where it's it's been you you get expected to win. Yeah. If we win, we're expected to win. If we get beat, it's an absolute disgrace, and, uh, and everybody's caught questioning what you do. So yeah. we've just got to approach the game in the right manner, as, as have we've approached every game so far in this little run, and, and make sure we're the best we can be, and, and hopefully on the day that'll be enough. Yeah, hundred percent. I think the homework will be done. Um, the manager and, and Millie are, are fantastic with that, making sure yeah. that the lads are prepared going out on a Saturday, so we know what we're coming up against. Um, yes, we haven't heard too much about them before, but you yeah. know, come Saturday we'll know everything and know all the players uh, inside and out. So we'll be uh, more than prepared um, for what should be a, a good game. Yeah, no, it's um, it's going to be exciting. I'm I'm looking forward to it. And well, what would it be? Quarter final next round. Yeah, quarter final. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's um, you know we're we're not far from that beloved stadium of ours are we so yeah. it's all you know case of focus and action as normal then yeah 100 percent. it'd be just uh, you know it's, a, it's another game for us to to do well um yep. another chance for lads who possibly aren't in the sides recently to to come and prove a point to the manager um but no the, the lads are lads are full of it and have been full of it this week in training um so it'd be the same again tomorrow and friday leading up to that yeah, is there is there anything squad wise that you, you can tell us, or is there anybody that's not going to be fit um, for the Well, for the there's obviously this, uh, this <coughs> Naomar and, and Devontae Rodney. Naomar suspended, and Devontae's um, and ineligible because he played for Stockport in the first yeah. round. So that's quite new, uh, quite news that everybody knows basically. Yeah. Um, also, Brownlee's fifty fifty. Um, okay. He's take it. He took a little bit longer than we thought so yeah. to get him back to fitness after. The tackle where I thought he should have got already, and it, it turns out that their <laughs> lad's done him. So um, I did apologise to him because I told him he should have been sent. But um, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll see how Brown is for the weekend, and, and make yeah. sure he hopefully he's back in, amongst the squad for the weekend. Yeah, um, we might as well. I was going to come back to it a bit later, but we might as well ask now. What what are you expecting from Hales? You know, obviously, like like Nathan says, we haven't heard much about them, you know, there are a few divisions below us, but what what can you tell us about and what are you expecting? Well, um, like one thing for sure is that they're flying in their league, mm -hmm. they, they, they win the games in hand, they were top by a clear margin, and um, they're in an excellent season, like I said before, they've already in this competition knocked out Bradford Park Avenue, Gateshead, and made the net in the last round, so three teams from a, from a higher division, and considerably higher division for them, yeah. so they ain't going to fear us, they're not going to come here and, and have any sort of fear. So I think what we've got to do is make sure that we're on the front foot. Yeah. We give them no impetus, nothing to hold on to. Um, and, and like I say, the two the two older midfielders who've been playing from came out of Birmingham. Right. I believe the boy Salmon. There was a lot expected of him when he was a young player at Birmingham. Yeah. Um, and also Montel Gibson, who I'm convinced we, I came up against when I was at Oldham in the youth setup. He came out of Notts County. Right. And again, like I say, he's got 28 goals this year, so the kids flying. And he's, he's attracting a lot of interest for National League clubs and from Football League clubs. Uh, and that's, that's a, a lad that's been, I've been made aware of on numerous occasions this year, but unfortunately I've not had the time to get down to see him yet. Yeah. Uh, so it was quite funny when the draw was made and <laughs> I'll now get to see him in direct competition against us. Yeah. So I think you can expect a, a well-organised, a, a well-tactically drilled side uh, from the homework and the games that we've seen of them. 
Um, they have a coach who's very tactically bright and you can see that from how they, they come off the shape and off the formation. Um, and a team that, that's hungry, a team that wants to do well and, yeah. and a team that will come here and, and see us as another scalp. Um, so what we're, I'm expecting big things from them. And, and yeah. it's not going to be a walk in the park, a stroll in the park, but it's got to be our professional. We've got to be professional about it. It's got to get on the front foot. Yeah. And as like I said, we've got to take the game to them and, and make sure that on the day we give them nothing to hang on to. Yeah, especially to guard against complacency with the fact that, like we say, in a few leagues below, but that means nothing. So if we, we walk away, we win one nil. <coughs> We won one now. Yeah, it's yeah. a complete level playing field, yeah. isn't it? Ninety minutes of football. I think that's what it is. It's a cup, cup game, cup competition, yeah. and we see it all the time, don't we? It's, it's a one-off game. Eleven lads against eleven lads. Who, yeah. you know, both teams will be desperate to do well um, and push the club forward, push their clubs forward. Um, but for us, we're on a run a good run. Um, yeah. We've got lads desperate to play. Like the manager said, there we've got a couple of lads missing. Um, so it's a chance for other lads to come in and, and prove a point. Um, but training's, training's looked really well um, yeah. recently and you know, we, we, we're looking forward to this game. Yeah, I think just to add to that as well, I'm sure Clark will back me up on this, the lads who are, who are out of the team at the moment, I think they're driving training as much as anybody else because they're desperate to get back in and I look yeah. at the, yesterday's training and I'm looking at lads and thinking, well done, keep mm -hmm. going, there's no sulking, there's no, yeah. oh, I should be playing. Uh, you look at what we did on, on Saturday when we, Jamie Allen came on against Dover on Tuesday night. It was excellent and he deserved his chance on the Saturday. And That gives me and Chris a lot of headaches and gives us a lot of dilemmas. It gives us some unhappy lads on the Saturday, don't get me wrong <laughs> as well. But if they're coming on and they're chomping at the bit to prove a point, then I've got no qualms with them coming, trying to prove a point and prove me wrong because that shows that the squad's hungry. Yeah, I think like you touched on, the fact that um, you know we had Devonte and Jack um, starting up front, mm. and Jamie's come on and what a performance he put in. Yeah, it was talking. unbelievable. Yeah, we're going to mention that as well. He was different class and has been different class in training, uh, yeah. and that's why you know the manager did what he did. But yeah. when lads are coming on, I know it's cliche, but they are. They're finishing the game for us and yeah. they're putting teams like Toby coming on and you know it's an absolute nightmare as a defender knowing that you've got lads willing to run um, yeah. and willing to chase balls over the top in the dying minutes. Um, but that's what we've got as a squad at the moment uh, and that's why we are doing as well as we're doing. We've got lads yeah. pushing lads uh, throughout training. Um, and like I say, when Jamie came on uh, in recent games, he's, he's done fantastic and Again, probably one of our, our best players um, last Saturday. Yeah, touching on the squad, um, obviously uh, the transfer window. Mm. Um, is it shut? Uh, shut for it's the a bit of a different one. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. I believe that's we can't take anyone from the football. No, we can. We can take. We've, we've right, got okay. to the end, end of March. Registrations last Thursday of March, I think it is. Okay. We've got to sign players. But football you can't take off us, which is the, is the big thing. That's um, yeah. <laughs> but we can still okay. we can still look at players from the football league to come out on loan to us should we wish to do so. Okay. Um, so yeah, touching on, on that, first and foremost, I'm, I'm glad that nobody nobody was bought or taken <laughs> yeah. off us. Well they were a worry with yeah. Jeff, weren't they? No, they were, yeah. Jeff Jeff I mean, uh, were pushing himself, he, he thought was, he yeah. might have had a sniff, but then he realised <laughs> he were playing champ manager and he got it wrong and he got himself a move on champ man. And, uh, as you can tell, Jeff's a, a lively member of our squad yeah. and uh, he's, he's third play to him, he's come in and done very well and, yeah. and indeed he deserves his, his chirpiness at the moment. He does, yeah, yeah, to be fair to him. Uh, but in, in, terms of the, in terms of the win, oh, it's obviously now shut. Yeah. We wanted to strengthen, but as I'd said all along, it was a case of one out, one in. Always yeah. has been like that for us. Um, with Liam McAlinden choosing not to, to retake the deal that was on the table for us, we had a little bit of spare money. Yeah. Um, I wanted to try and get Devontae earlier in the season, but didn't have the finances to do so. Yeah. So when Devontae came available, obviously he'd done well at Stockport, but played wide and, and I knew what he'd done here last season. Yeah. It was an opportunity for us to go in and, and thanks to Salford for, for sort of making that deal happen. We'd also had Jack in, and, but Jack was still coming back to full fitness and We'd been speaking to Jack since probably about September and and we were lucky enough to get Jack in. We, Jack came in 
again on a short term deal to see, prove his fitness and prove whether we were right for each other. Yeah. And, and then obviously then with, with Dale moving on, we, we, we could then get both of them tied down to the end of the season and it's brought a different and an added dimension to, to the squad and a lot of experience in there as well. So we were pleased with a couple of bits of business that we've done. Yeah. Um, in terms of the Football League window shutting, my plan was always now to let it shut, see who didn't move, see what sort of little bargains we could maybe get a hold of. Yeah. But I don't think we need to do that just yet. I think we're going to wait and okay. see if we pick up any injuries and then maybe three, four, five, six weeks time just before that window shuts, we'll, we'll look to maybe strengthen just for the running and, and see how we go. We might do that earlier if we get some injuries, so it's yeah. we don't. But that's sort of my plan going forward. And the longer we keep the chairman's money in his pocket, and if he's listening to this, he's hopefully smiling. <laughs> the more that, say we went for a 400 quid a week now, it's a 400 quid a week. The, quick, the longer that goes on, I keep his money in his pocket, and maybe can get somebody a little bit more expensive yeah. as we go through and we get closer because I've saved that money here. And at the moment, don't think we need to really strengthen in any area at the moment, but I know we will do. Uh, but uh, I think we've just got to be patient at the moment, see what happens over the next few weeks. Yeah. So that's my plan. I'm always open and honest, and, and that's how I see my plan moving forward. Yeah. Yeah, so do you reckon? Over, over January, keeping hold of the players we have and extending like Jack's deal and Charlie's deal mm. as being as or more important to have having new faces through the door. Because I guess you know fans tend to you know love love a new signing, but sometimes staying with what you know yeah, is is more important and more beneficial really. To I think it's a massive point you make. Uh, the lads who've got us there deserve the first crack of the whip. Um, yeah. but, don't get me wrong, bringing Devontae and Jackins probably give the squad a boost, but yeah. the likes of Charlie Cooper, who I think um, does a lot of unselfish running and he protects the, the back lads well. And generally, where that ball drops in midfield, him and Start and generally land on that ball, yeah. whether it's a header or a tackle, um, they're generally there. And, and may, people might not see that as a, a key trait of football, but what them two gentlemen are doing for us at the moment in terms of out of possession is, is really is really crucial. I think sometimes they don't get the credit they deserve them to. And, and Liam Nolan coming back for an injury, Liam yeah. came on, I thought they had an exceptional 20 minutes on Saturday and just showed things up when it was we needed a little bit more height. They were putting balls in our box. So I think the three of them complement each other well. And like I say... If you look at the stats, I ain't big on stats, and they're going to laugh at me here now, but I have been recently around running stats. Yeah. Our two centre midfielders are running 12.5k a game, which is wow. That's Which yeah. is wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which you don't realise, do you? Uh, probably as sitting in the stands, you don't realise you know, just how much work the lads are getting through, but it's it's a massive amount, even yeah. like some cam. You yeah. call it that luxury role in the 10, but you know, he's again clocking 12k. Um, not a problem and you know it's that sort of work that gets done that's probably doesn't get the praise it probably should do um, so I totally agree with the manager there that yeah yeah we're not massive on the stats the manager's not massive on the stats sorry um, but it's, it's a big part of uh, part of the game and you yeah. can see you know the unselfish work that the lads are doing yeah and I, when we were set a parameter around we want to run over 100k a game and Probably when I first brought that in, there was a little, there was a bit of a moaning and groaning around. <laughs> like, yeah, we're just yeah. a team of runners, but since we've done that, we're running average 105, 107 k a game. Yeah. Which I think it's showing on the pitch, and I think it's, yeah, it's showing definitely. with the lads. And I, I honestly believe, and it's sort of, I know we'll come back to the squad in a little bit, but in terms of keeping hold of the lads who've got us here, I think it's been crucial, and I'm really pleased that we've done that, and I'm really pleased that we've added to the group in. And that little bit of quality that, that Jack and Devontae bring, that football league experience that them two bring. Yeah. Have they um have they been bouncing off because they were together at Salford, I believe, wasn't they? Yeah. So can can you see that in the relationship they've got in training and on the pitch? A typical centre forwards just want to score goals, just don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't see anything else about <laughs> that, that ball in the back of there, which is a, an unbelievable trait to have. Yeah. But I don't think Jack played much because obviously Jack had 12 months out with bad hips last year, so I don't right, think he okay. played much with Devontae. But again, knew each other well, so which is pleasing to Manchester lads as well. So yeah. uh, the more Manchester lads we get over there, the better, eh? <laughs> <laughs> we touched on this 
before uh, obviously we came on here, um, third in the league. Uh, your answer, um, <laughs> I think, should be everyone's answer. Would you take that at the start of the season to be here where we are right now? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. I think the the squad of pre-season, you know, with uh, the manager leaving, yeah, um, everything was up in the air. Players were on trial, but didn't know who the manager was going to be. It was yeah. it was a strange time. Um, I think there were eight or nine players signed at the time. Yeah. So the manager coming into probably a difficult, well, what was a difficult situation, I think, of course, you'd, you'd snap people's hands off, wouldn't you, to be where we are now. But yeah. what the manager has got is and and built is, is a really, really, really good squad um, yeah. for this league. Um, it's got a lot of experience of this league with players playing, um, but we've got that bit of quality as well, that little bit, little bit of league quality yeah. um, as well to you know, to put teams to the sword a little bit. And you know, certainly I think as fans speaking to them, I think they would, you know, they're more than happy where we are now. Yes, we had a little bit of a dip, but the dip, you know, we didn't really drift too far away. We were always in and around, yeah. um, you know, and a run like this now has, has propelled us to where we are now. And, you know, I think certainly within the squad, I think we still feel as if there's more to come. Yeah, I'm going to stick with you on my next question. You're obviously standing in uh, as skipper with, yep. with Matty being out at the moment. Is that a bit of a flashback to the start of the season, obviously, because before Gaffer came in, you were helping out with, you know, the running of the yeah, team, yeah. and you know, are you enjoying it? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I've always, I've always said, and I've spoke to you many a times. Brownie is a fantastic captain. He's yeah. a good lad to have around. Um, the dressing room, and that's why you see, yeah, he's out injured at the moment, but you see him, you see him on the bench with the manager. Yeah, uh, he's got a great knowledge of the of the league and the players, um, and he is 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 he is a captain. You know what I mean? And you know he makes sure everybody's together, yeah. um, and that's one of the qualities that he has. And I've told him that many a times. Um, so for me, I know I'm happy enough just standing in and um, holding the the armband at the moment, but. Yeah. You know, Danny's ankles, aren't you? Yeah, I've had to, yeah, 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 <laughs> to shrink the uh, armband a little bit. But yeah, you know, he's desperate to come back and help. Yeah. Um, but like I say, you've seen that. You know, yes, he's out at the moment, injured, but he's he's kicking every ball with us and, and heading yeah. everything he can, um, and giving his little insights to the manager on the on the sideline as well, which is a, a big plus. Yeah, I think I would like to add to that. I mean, we've made uh, quite public, me and Chris, that. We have Clarky and Brownie and Mothers, and we value their opinion. And, it, and if it's contrary to our opinion, then that's fine. And, and we've had a lot of discussions this year around players, especially early on with Brownie. He's experienced in non league. My education came in the league. So some yeah. of the players at this level, I'm quite, sure I'm quite confident now, don't get me wrong, but at the start of the season, I, I, I lent on him around players. and. Yeah. We, we speak to to the lads because actually they play, they play. I mean, something we did at Oldham is they they're on the pitch, they see what's going off that maybe we don't see from the sideline. They they gauge players' mood, they gauge what's going off in the dressing room. So I think it's really important that we have that sort of subcommittee on a Monday or a Tuesday yeah. or during the week. Where I mean, Millie spoke a lot to Clark around set pieces, around how do you, how how would you like to defend them? Is there things we could be better at? Mm. And yeah. I think that sort of all pushing in the right direction is crucial to us and then I know Clark's aspirations of being a coach and, and it's going to give me great pleasure then to try and help him along that journey and, and bring him in and, and give him that platform to crack on with that yeah. but we need that we need that that four of us and, and in any, anybody else um, the, it sounds a cliche this but the door doesn't shut in the no. training ground the manager's door doesn't shut it's wide open if somebody wants to walk in and make themselves a broke they can make themselves a broke <laughs> and that's the environment I want to create yeah. because we all want the same thing, yeah. So why should I stand on a pedestal and go, no, it's my my way or the eye? Sometimes if the book stops for me. I've got to say no, and we're doing it this way, and yeah. behave yourself, or no, you're not playing this week, and that's what well, I've got to gauge that. But in terms of getting the best out of the squad, we all need to buy into that, and the only way you're going to do that is getting your senior players around you and asking their opinion. Yeah. And then and I remember when we were going through one of our sticky spells, and I'm quite open about this again is we, we spoke about formation didn't we when we yeah. spoke about may, what the problems were 
with our current formation and why we maybe were struggling. Mm -hmm. and, and Brownie said, have you ever thought about a 3-5-2? And it was probably Brownie who, who started the the thought process going around going to a 3-5-2. Right. Um, I mean, it was an off-the-cuff remark, wasn't yeah, it? And, and yeah. something I know Brownie had thought about for a while, but yeah. sometimes you need to plant a seed and then uh, you go away and you think about it and we're four, maybe four, five weeks down the line we're, we're playing a 3 5 two and, yeah. and we'll I think, do. like you said, though, it's the personnel, what you've got yes. to use. Yeah. You know, we've had lads injured, we've had people out, suspended, <laughs> whatnot. You know, it just worked, didn't it? Yeah. I know, And I know lads have probably played to out of position or what you think might be out of position but they've bought into it massively haven't oh, they and yeah. you know the likes of Danny Williams who'd yeah. have thought you know he'd have done as well as he's doing because he's he's been fantastic for us and oh, yeah. um, you know he's, he's taken to that role like he's played it all his career um, yeah. and so yeah, that's a massive I mean Ducky's had a great start to the yeah. season Ducky gets an injury Jeff comes in does well and Ducky's then found it tough to get back in and yeah. and, and the two basically two wingers that have, mm. have moulded themselves into a couple of a wing backs recently, and yeah. I, I, and I don't underestimate the, the, the job that, that Clark has done for us as well in that three. And his experience of playing a three before, uh, I think, has been invaluable for us because you, it helps you. I think you help the, the two lads at either side of you to push and pull them. Yeah. And I think, it, it, like Clark has just said there, we didn't have the personnel to play it early in the season, but with, with Jack getting fitter and, and Devante coming in, we did. Toby's carried the can on his own up there and, yeah. Yeah. and and done an unbelievable job and deserves a lot of credit for what he did early in the season and he'll his chance will come again and, he, and he'll he'll get himself back in and he'll get on the run of goals again. Yeah. But we didn't have that personnel to do that. So in in a long winded answer to your comment, to your question, <laughs> it's it's important that we all have an input and it's important that we listen and we we're all pulling the same way and we only pull the same way by listening to opinion and me facilitating me at the top just facilitating opinion and, yeah. and and gathering opinion and then deciding on which between me and Chris which way we're gonna go. Yeah. yeah. The first the first time I were on I were on comms with Brownie. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I think it was the first time I had, I had a player on with me. Yes. I think it was, was, yeah. think it was the oval game and uh, I, I think I'm an all right, you know, obviously I watch a lot of football doing, doing what I do. Yeah. He's next level, mate. Honestly. <laughs> yeah. I come away thinking, like, Jesus. The he, knowledge. He, he, yeah, the comes, knowledge. Yeah. And yeah. He's, he's, he's reading the game even from the stands. W won't like anything. I'd, it will like, I've not had a chat about football mm -hmm. on yeah. that level with anyone <laughs> yeah. before in my life. And his, his knowledge of the league and the players in it, you know, you'll, you, you'll, you'll get players who some, you know, who, who, who play and, but you can tell Brownie's just always 100% switched on with it. Mm. You know, it, I, I, I were absolutely astounded by it. It was brilliant. It was just, I could have just sat and listened to him talk about the game all day. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's, yeah. he's very honest, isn't he? He yeah. just says it how it is, and, you know, that's what you want possibly as a captain. You know, yeah, you want your arm around, you know, to put your arm around people at times, but he does, he tells it how it is. He's, he's got a good knowledge of the, of the game and players. Um, you know, and he's very honest with it. And like the manager said there, you know, he was always in the back of his mind. Do you think this would suit us? And asking the question, and it, like you said, it shows that he's he's switched on and you know and understands the game. But you know, what is he? He's uh, still twenty nine, nearly thirty. Um, so fantastic age, and like I say, you've, Halifax have got a great captain at the moment. Yeah, I think I, th I think as well with. Just how he is in general, me being a town fan myself. I, I think we show that mentality from from an early time when when the season we went down, mm. and Brownie was one of the lads who stuck it out and stuck around, and that's that's why I think if he's a man as uh, with yourself, Nathan, as an mm. Halifax lad, if if it's you and Brownie, then people who take us back up to the football league. I well, I certainly hope so. That'd be, that'd be amazing. Yeah, yeah, it'd be yeah, absolutely yeah. amazing, wouldn't it? It'd be, you know, it'd be. Uh, a great thing, uh, and like you say, whilst everybody's, you know, hopefully pulling in the right direction, we've got a massive chance because we've got some, some really good players um, who are desperate to get back in the league. Yeah, just you touched on it before, Gaffer, with the fact that we, you know, we had that dip in form. Yeah. Uh, we we only picked up the one win in twelve. Um, I've been trying to forget about that bit, but don't worry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but. It, like you know, like you mentioned, Brownies. You know, he's thrown yeah. this idea around the three-five-two. Mm -hmm. um, 
how is it like how has everyone bought into it like obviously yeah. the fans were were struggling seeing that happening and you know they, they've seen straight away this change like how, how does it feel to be in amongst that that you've you know you've what, thrown you that the idea fans were struggling with that idea I believe like so there was a lot of calling because obviously we were playing the four two three one mm. prior to that and people just kept shout like like they were wanting something to change uh, and like you said we didn't have the personnel at the time to mm. do that and um, like d could the lads feel it in the dressing room that, that there was an unhappy not I wouldn't say unhappy because <coughs> you know we were still up where we were but they, they, they were calling for change and straight, let's strip it right back to um, when we first came in. Obviously, we had nine days, and yeah. mine and Chrissy's first thought was, "Let's be tough to beat." Yes. So, yeah. so late into pre-season, but we need to find a route of being tough to beat. Okay. That had sort of been our mantra at Oldham, and we yeah. know it knew it had worked. So it was right. Well, that's worked at Oldham. Let's have a go at this, and right. in the limited time we've got, let's have a go. So it was a case of let's just stay in games, let's be tough to beat and, and, and see if we can pick up results. Yeah. So for probably 15, 16 games at the start of the season, that really worked, didn't it? Mm -hmm. And we were tough to beat, with goals yes. were coming from all over the place and, and we started really well. Yeah. And it fitted the personnel we had. Yeah. There was no more money to bring anybody in. We had what we had. Now, we get into that second sort of, that second third of the season where all right, I've seen everybody. Maybe I could move some around. Maybe I could move someone out, some out, some in. Yep. That didn't work because, well, unfortunately, we couldn't get deals for lads to go out. Or okay. So we had what we had. So we could carry on. We 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 we, we understood that we needed to try and probably score some more goals. Yeah. Um, we were having our Achilles heel was set pieces, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, for the first fifteen games, you can see one set piece, and then all of a sudden there's a nervousness around set pieces. Right. So, I actually thought in that sort of dip in form, we might have to play that bad as football, but we were costing our own problems by maybe gifting goals by penalties. Mm. It yeah. just wasn't going our way. Yeah. So we toyed around with just probably back in the November, Harry get away strings to mind, where we went to try to go four four two. Yeah. Um, and we went four four two for a little bit um, over the early point of Christmas and. Um, and I just felt like we had three lines and, and we were a little bit open and it was going against what had got us our success in being tough to play against, having the four lines t to break down. Yeah. And I remember having a long conversation with uh, Neil Ardley after the Notts County game, big friends with Neil, and I went, come on then, yeah. won't play each other again this season. What do you think? Tell me honestly, he says, well, when I, we thought when you play four four two that you're too open and you're too easy to play against. Yeah. So obviously, I go away on the Sunday morning, I'm watching the game I could always do. And I'm thinking, you're right, you're right. Yeah. So we go to Stockport on, on Boxing Day and we go back to 4 2 three, one because Stockport are flying and we think, right, well, we need to be tough to play against. Yeah. But what doesn't help you on that day is that uh, you weren't, you were injured, weren't you? Yeah. Uh, a couple of lads that pulled out the day before, uh, so that lads playing out of position. Yeah. And if, truth be told, 8 out of 11 have an absolute base and I'm sure most of them would stick their hand up and go, that's probably the worst game I've ever played. So the, yeah. take it on its merit, not a lot went for us that day. And hey, listen, we weren't good enough, don't get me wrong. If we were yeah. five, it could have been 55. I have no qualms about saying that. Yeah. So something had to change. And, and then the day I remember being sat in the village hotel in, in Manchester at seven in the morning, the day after the Stockport game with Chris going, so it's got to change. So yeah. we've got to change quickly. And the two problems were that we weren't getting enough, we like, weren't getting a glove on anybody wide, and we, we weren't getting enough players in their box. And mm -hmm. the three five two that Brownie had probably sold with us a few weeks prior to that was something that we discussed. And yeah. now that Jack was fully fit, yeah. now Cam King had come through illness, injury, and we seemed to be stop start with Cam for the first half of the season. And Cam was back flying <coughs> from where he needed to be. Yeah. It was an ideal opportunity for something to change, and it was a it's brave and it probably takes something like a, a big defeat for a manager to be brave and change something because let's yeah. be honest you, you, you've succeeded you hope you're going to come out of it but you, it's yeah. done you well so you're hoping it's going to change aren't you but it, it weren't changing so yeah. we had to be brave and I remember going into them on the, the day of the Chesterfield game at one o'clock and when we said right we're going to change the formation <laughs> we're, here's what we're going to play yeah. here's three simple principles 
go and have a go at it. Something's yeah. got to change. Go and have a go and, and see how it is. And then at one o'clock, and they're in 15 years of coaching, never ever coached a 3 5 2. And I always worried because I thought you'd always get done down the sides. And yeah. in a 3 5 2, you can get really exposed down the sides. So I'd always brush 3 5 2 aside and never, <laughs> never really had a go at it. Yeah. So I, I remember the Chesterfield game, because we were on a tougher run of form as well, but I remember that just being. Uh, an horrible 90 minutes because John was under probably the same pressure I was under and yeah. and, and <clears throat> to learn and so that's sort of how we've got to there I've talked a lot and they talk about sort of where it took us and how the players felt yeah. going probably through that run yeah it was obviously difficult at the time like yeah. you say you're still wanting to do what the manager's telling you to, what has got a success in the the early part but yeah. like I said to the manager at the time when we had our meetings and chats and things I felt everybody was playing to their maximum, yeah. um, and having a small squad, you know, you're gonna at some stage incur problems and injuries and suspensions and whatnot. So when yeah. players are playing at their peak constantly, you do tend to tail off, and you know, I felt that that's speaking to sort of Brownie and the manager and Millie and stuff. We we saw. That was probably where people were at at the moment. They were playing a lot of games, asked to play a lot of games when probably in recent seasons they'd not had many yeah. games under the belts. Right. Um, so you see, it was a big change for people. And like I say, in terms of that, you know, you, you're going to get some sort of tail off. And just going back, I know obviously the lads have, have come in now, but the likes of Jack and D coming in when they've come in. Yeah. It brings that freshness, it brings another face into the building who you think, right, these are good lads, these, you know, quality players who are gonna come in and, and you know, be pushing to play and pushing the team on and uh, that gives you that lift and that buzz as a as a player when you're in a little bit of a sticky spat uh, sticky spell. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's certainly what's happened I feel. I remember the relief when we all come in after Chesterfield yeah. and with the relief on everybody's face and it was like, I got for that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and it gave us that bounce for, for New Year's Day and if you remember New Year's Day, I mean, the handball, it should have been our yeah. pen, should it? The, the, yeah. the handball was ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. But it, it just gives us that bounce and what's, what we've tried to do with the formation now is look at every week just adding a layer, a one, right. one area that we think we can be better in onto, yeah. the, onto the formation we're playing. Um, and then that's given us something to all buy into or grab hold of, all have a go at again. If there's anything we feel that maybe could be better. But it, I think you've seen a different Cam King recently, yeah. over illness and injury. But I think Clarkie makes an excellent point. If you look at our squad and you look at recent years of how many games that them that, that yeah. boys have played, it's a team of misfits, let's be honest. The team we've got together is a team of misfits, but it's not probably worked elsewhere, mm. apart yeah. from a core of them. It's not really worked elsewhere for them. Yeah. So they ain't played a lot of games, and, and you you probably around hit the wall. Mm. And yeah, every team, apart from Liverpool, probably at the moment, every team, <laughs> every level goes through a sticky patch. And the teams that generally do well are the ones that come out come out of that sticky patch quicker than the other ones. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we always knew it would change, and, and me and Chris have a saying that we picked up off for a, a psychologist once. He said. How's things going? Good, and he used to say, "Well, it'll change." And say, "How things going now? It's it's awful. Well, don't worry, it'll change." Yeah. yeah. So we just try to keep that mentality of it will change. Yeah. Mm. Could I ask you about the uh, how the players you you've we've got at the club and the five four uh, and the three five two? Mm. We've like you were five four two then. We had twelve. So we we went league then definitely. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if we if if we have. Like you've seen, like with Danny and Jeff fitting into new mm. roles, and we've seen like Jerome play at centre half recently the last few weeks, and Niall drop back into centre half as well uh, since the change in formation. How important is like adaptability and flexibility for you in a player that you look at in the club? Huge, especially at our level. When, when the squad can't be big because of budgets and, and things like that, the more they can rotate, adapt, etc., it's huge. Huge to clubs like ours, huge to clubs that probably at our level. and probably the level above but yeah. huge for them as players because the more positions you can play the, the more of a character you come to a manager don't yeah. the manager thinks well he yeah. can play there there and there so I'll take him because throughout the season I know I can utilize them in various positions so for them as players getting contracts at clubs it's, it's huge but for me as a manager massive because 
I know that Ben like we just said there we changed the formation and we've got two wingers playing as weak backs and you've got a, a lad who's played left back all seasons and playing left centre half yeah. uh, centre mid dropping at centre half helps helps massively helps me massively and, and like I say gives it helps them as well when they're going for contracts mm. <laughs> yeah so I think We'll we'll just about wrap it up. I do I do have one thing that I do want to talk about um, before I let you guys go, and that's obviously the the tragic news that we've had recently uh, with the passing of of Jordan. Um, obviously, you you spent some time with Jordan. Uh, how's it how's it been? You know, obviously Clarky uh, and Sam and, and and Mac were there with him at the club, but you you spent some time with him at Huddersfield, didn't you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, as a as a young lad. Um... I always used to see him around. The good thing at Huddersfield, you, you train sort of similar times as a youth team and you were always bobbing in and out. And um, yeah, it was just obviously the new, when the news came through, it was very, you know, nobody knew exactly what had gone on. Yeah. Um, Brownie was, again, really close to him um, from his time here. We're getting fed little bits of information um, and obviously we had the game. Um, coming off after the game, I think there was again mixed signals of what exactly had happened. But yeah, yeah it's just it's just horrible, isn't it? It's just um, yeah. you know, it's just fearful for for going out now, aren't you? you? You know, you can't go out and and enjoy yourself nowadays. It's you tend to look at somebody the wrong way, and you know, something like that could happen. And you know, Jordan, me knowing Jordan how he was, and he was a bubbly guy confident guy joking around um so yeah to to hear the news of that you know it's just it's just appalling isn't it it's just heartbreaking yeah. and um you know you can only hope that the family are doing well um yeah. you know i know there's a lot of support from the club um and from millions you know thousands of clubs out there that have, have donated the shirts as well has, it, has yeah. been fantastic hasn't it um so yeah it's just Obviously, a sad time, but um, you know the the club is certainly doing what they can to to help. Um, but like I say, I you know knowing Jordan, he's uh, he would have wanted us to to carry on and and do well. Um, you know, so I'm sure he's he's thinking about that. Yeah, well, we're going to have a a golf day for him, aren't we? And yeah. obviously, um, all the all the money that we raise is is going to go to the family. And are you are you guys? Down for it? Have you got? Team? Yeah, have you got yourself a team? Yeah, I've, uh, I'm on. Brownie's booked me on. Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I've been told. Um, yeah, what a, you know, what a fantastic day. Um, yeah. You know, I played with Jordan, funny enough, at, at that course at Willow Valley, um, oh, nice. with Danny Ward, who again really close friends with him. Yeah. Um, so I played around the golf a couple of times with him there, and yeah, you know, it was just, it was a good golfer as well. Um, yeah. Enjoyed his golf and. Enjoyed his social uh, his social life after golf as well, um, <laughs> but you know it was it was a lad and yeah. you know he enjoyed that part of it and yeah so what a great day that'll be um, looking forward to that um, yeah. Wednesday the eleventh is it yeah the yes 11th, it is yeah, yeah. you're all going down aren't you yeah and I'm I'm there I've, I've I think I've played about two rounds of golf in my life mm -hmm. uh, right okay well, I'll play against you then Luke <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I've been, I'm not always sure where hold it up mate. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, being a left hander as well, so there's going to be some windows going in there. Yeah. <laughs> the beginners will come open for. Yeah, yeah. Open for we've that, got a staff team in it, so. Yeah. Down there. Who have you got in your team? You well, Millie's a, Millie's a bit of a shark, actually. I right. play, we only play when the weather's nice, so we. Oh. Uh, we I'm going to say we get half decent. We don't. We get like be able to hit the ball straight, and then yeah. weather turns, and that's us for the year. But mm. Millie's not bad, so I'm hoping he's going to pull me out of it. Yeah. Because I'm horrendous. <laughs> Absolutely horrendous. <laughs> And I've got no patience game. either, so <laughs> I get more and more frustrated. Yeah, you could play what crazy golf. Crazy golf, I could do that. If you stuck a window down there, I'd do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's it hard enough, your little window. Yeah, there. <laughs> yeah, we'll win, I will have all. Yeah, no, a few other lads are playing, aren't they? I think um, Ducky yeah. and Josh, who uh, who like the golf as well, so they they yeah. come in and yeah, it'd be you know hopefully a fantastic day, um, raise some good money. Yeah. Um, so yeah. No, that's brilliant. Well, we'll leave it there. Um, 
obviously it's, it's been a bit different with missing OT with his firing questions at you, but um, I hope we've done a good enough job for everybody. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming in. No worries. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get you in again soon. Uh, we might have to get a few of the other lads in. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> see if they, they want to come and have a chat. And the Liverpool lads over on a Wednesday night, I'm sure they'll be over the moon with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Well, thank you very much, guys. Uh, take care, and yeah, we look forward to Saturday. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.